For today, I have the best food I think I've ever had on the show. This is so exciting. I have a cider brine pork tenderloin with a buttermilk mashed potato, a fresh cherry maple glaze, so delicious, very unique with the buttermilk mashed potato. And here, one of the top five things I've ever, ever eaten in my life. This is a beautiful tuna tartare tossed with an olive tapenade on a deviled egg. It's delicious. So it's sort of like a niçoise salad. Unbelievably delicious. So Can't good. Can't wait. Love that. Really. So, yes, without further ado, we're going to get right into this because I'm so excited. This, we're going to do... This looks like a whale's penis. It's... <laughs> it's very, very close. I think that's the next episode. Oh, whatever it is. Like so, I had a question so, about the brine. Yes, so we're going to brine yeah. it right now. So a brine is a really flavorful liquid that inf it makes it juicier and gives it a ton of flavor. So we're going to do apple cider. So right. I have hot water here. We're going to yes. do garlic, some yes. bay leaves. I have some chili flakes. All in. All in. All, all aromatics. All in. Fresh thyme, a little bit of nutmeg, some onion, some salt, and some sugar. We're going to mix that all up. We put the pork in. We're going to let it sit overnight. That's going to flavor it. It's going to make it super juicy, and it's going to get delicious. All so, of it. Yes, please. Okay. So while that brine's going, we're going to start the sauce. This okay. is a maple fresh cherry glaze, end of summer cherries, beginning of fall maple. We're going to start with butter, okay. a little bit of garlic, and some red onion. Okay. Right in. You can throw that in. Mm. We're going to throw in the onion. Okay. We're going to make this glaze. Lots of layered flavors. Now, what seasoning is this? That's some thyme, dried thyme. Okay. And then we're gonna, I'm going to add the maple syrup, and that's a little vinegar. The vinegar is going to cut the, the, the sweetness. So we're going to add the maple syrup and yeah. then the vinegar right in. Okay. And I'm then we're going to brine again. throw the fresh cherries in. We're going to let that simmer just momentarily. Back to the, whale, the pig, the, the, the brine. pork. Yes. yes, not to be confused with whale. Yes. We're going to put the pork right in. That one. That one, please. You're welcome to use the tongs if you don't feel comfortable with your hands. Right in. Well played. Great. So that's in. That sits overnight. Beautiful, flavorful apple cider. If Yum. you don't like apple cider, use something else. You could do soy and ginger, whatever you like. So that yes. sits in overnight, correct? Fabulous. So then here I have my tenderloin already brined, already flavored, From ready overnight. to grill. Yes. That's it. From last night. Please, right. if you put that right on the grill. And it shrunk. Oh, slightly. <laughs> Clearly, clearly size matters. <laughs> so we're going to clear this down right here. I'll do it, I'll do reach. it. I assist. So I have buttermilk mashed potatoes. Normally you make mashed potatoes, cream, butter. This is strict buttermilk. Buttermilk gives it that acidity that helps, again, cut through Love the that. sweetness. So I'm going to add this. Heaven. Very, very simple. So we're going to do a little potato. And again, it's sort of really creamy, but it doesn't have that fat. So I'm going to take this tenderloin, mm -hmm. pardon my reach. That's I'm going to it. carve while, it right there. While you carve, I'm going to get started on the yeah, arugula. So I'm going to have a little arugula garnish, nice peppery to sort of finish the dish. So a little bit of vinaigrette, if you could toss that. Yep. Slice the pork. Mm -hmm. And we'll just shingle this right on. Jeff, can I ask you about the doneness of that pork? Yeah, I think so. A lot of people. Absolutely. And that's, you know, there hasn't been a case of trichinosis since like way back in my grandmother's day. So, yeah, it's, it's been a, eliminated from the food. Absolutely. So, it, when you have a good quality out? piece I'm of curious. meat, a good quality piece of meat is a good quality piece of meat. So, pork shouldn't be overcooked. But here's the cool thing about this brine if you do happen to overcook it, it's insurance that it, it's not terrible. So, it's still going right. to be juicy no matter what. So, okay. pink is okay. Pink when... and pork is for me <laughs> okay. perfect. This okay. is like a nice, perfect medium. So, we're going to just take this glaze. And again, the glaze is hot, so you're pouring it over the pork. Mm -hmm. And so it sort of carries it over slightly. That and it's smells beautiful, so fresh. So good. And then, so again, peppery arugula, beautiful right on top. You have the creamy from the potato, the perfectly cooked pork, a little sweet, a little peppery right Look on that. top. Look and at that. And then it's that. very, very simple. Beautiful. So, so, right? beautiful. So, this, this is the best dish you've ever made here. And you've been here a lot.